What's up guys, I'm Juan the Don and this is my humidor update. So I've gotten a bunch of requests from people to show off what's in my humidor because um, I guess you guys are just curious to what I have. So I figured, well, I might as well do like a little update because I've done a few of these videos before. Um, my humidor itself hasn't changed, it's just the contents of it have like come and gone, right? So. Um, I guess let's just show you guys what's inside. All right guys, so this is what my humidor looks like. Um, you've probably seen it before, it's just a really simple little like plastic tub with these uh, locks. And then that blue stuff right there is like a gasket type of thing and make sure this is airtight. This is a like food quality container, so it has to be airtight. So if you're looking for a pretty cheap, um, but very good type of humidor, this is a good option. Cause you'll, you'll see right now, I have a ton of cigars in here. I, I believe it can hold at least like up to like a hundred or so cigars. Um, so this is a nice cheap option. If you're looking for a humidor that isn't too much, but can hold a lot of cigars, right? So it has my sticker on there. Very, very cool. And then my hygrometer. And then in this little baggie right here, I just have some coffee infused cigars that, um, I don't want like meshing with my other cigars. So this is PDR's line. And this is, so it's the Roast Cafe, the Natural and the Medium. And I believe this one is a dark roast. So it's just a, a bunch of flavor cigars that I have that I don't want to mesh with the flavor of these ones. So I keep them in a little baggie with the Boveda, so. And right here, probably the, the best ones I have are the Cubans. These are some Bolivars. Uh, don't know too much about Cubans at all, but these are some Bolivars. And then I have over here, two of these Hoyo de Monterrey's Epicure Especial, very, very cool. And then the last of the Cubans, cause I only have a few, are these Monte Cristo's Linea 1935 Maltese. So I'm very excited for those. And I will do reviews on all of them. I just need to, uh, have like a have a good occasion to do a review on these so uh up next we have let's see casa cuevas maduro and i know i have a connecticut in here as well yep casa cueva is one of my favorite brands these things are awesome i had a few habanos but i probably smoked them all because these are awesome then we have let's see some osa souls and by the way these osas um i have a bunch of tatuajes over here and those cubans um those were all sent to me by custody cigars so he is just the man. So thank you so much to him. Huge, huge shout out. But he also sent me these Osas Souls. So these are Toros and Gordos. And there's also Robustos, but I smoke them because these Osas are some of my favorites. They're, they're just really good, reliable, go-to type of cigars. These are really, really great. Right here I have this. I've had this in my humidor for a long time. And um, I've been wanting to smoke it, but also like it never really catches my attention. Like it never really like looks at me and says, hey, you want to smoke me? Like, you know what I mean? So it's just been sitting in there for a while. This is a, my Uzi was a ton brand subculture. Um, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I'll smoke this eventually. Just, it's been in here for a while. All right. And then over here I have, what is this? This is a Roma Crafts Pro Magnin Bellicoso. And then I have a Punch Habano Signature. Um, both of these I have not smoked. I got these in a cigar trade actually with um, Aaron from the Straight Cut podcast, which if you don't, if you're looking for a good podcast, Aaron, um, the Straight Cut is a good podcast to try out. Uh, right here we have a Perdomo Lot 23 and then a Ashton VSG. And I haven't heard too much about these, but this is a kind of an interesting size. I'm not exactly sure what you would call it. It's almost like a Perfecto, but it's kind of more like tapered over here so it kind of goes from like thin to a little bit thicker at the bottom and it has this kind of like nipple type of thing i don't know what you would call it but it's pretty cool pretty interesting i'm excited to try this one out and then i have some more casa cuevas because like i said they're one of my favorites this is a casa cuevas maduro edición especial so this is kind of like their lancero style and then the casa cuevas prensado which is almost like a box press type of style if you can kind of tell um these are i'm looking forward to smoking those as well Right here we have a Fratello. This is a Fratello Timical. Timical. I'm not sure how you say that, but there's a Fratello, and some of these have price tags, so you can see that was nine dollars. 
Uh, Fratello, I'm excited to try that one out. I've had a few Fratellos before and they were all fantastic. Uh, right here, this one is really cool. The Alec Bradley Fine and Rare. And you can see right there, it says when it was rolled, the weekly production, the supervisor, the release date, the roller, like this is just a really, really cool cigar. And it's, I mean, it's a fine and rare, right? Like this is a kind of almost like a collectible cigar, but this is really, really cool. I am gonna smoke it, I won't collect it. I'm not, I'm not much of a collector, I'm more of a smoker, so. And then this right here is a Gurkha, aged 12 years, um, in a, like a Perfecto size, which I'm pretty excited to smoke this one. I've never had a Gurkha, but I hear a lot about them. Not, not necessarily good, not necessarily bad, but I hear a lot, so I'm excited to try it out and form my own opinion. Right here, we have a La Flor Dominicana La Nox. And this is, from what I've heard, a very, very nice cigar. It's very, very nice and dark. This seems like just a really fantastic cigar. I'm excited to try this one out. And right here, I have a Avo South America Ritmo, which I honestly don't know too much about Avo, but this thing is long. It's like a Torpedo Churchill type of thing. I don't know what it is. It says it's a Torpedo Lar CE. I'm not sure what that means, but it's long and it's a torpedo and I'm very excited to try this one out. Right here, I have a few cool things. I have these Four Kicks Limited Edition 2019s and I've, I've tried one of these. I had three and I smoked one and these are really, really good. I'm looking forward to doing a review on these, but these are a really, really tasty cigar. And right here, I have these Partagas 1845s. Um, I don't know a lot about Partagas. I've, I mean, I've heard Partagas before, but I'm not sure exactly much about them, but I'm still very excited to try these out because like I said, I've heard a thing or two about them and I mean, I, I wanna try them out. And then right here, let's do these four. I have some AJ Fernandez, which is one of my favorite brands. AJ Fernandez just always, uh, consistently puts out really fantastic cigars. We have the New World TAA uh, Redondo, which the TAA is the Tobacco Association of America. So this is a cigar they did for them. Then we have a regular New World, and then we have a San Latino Requiem, and a Bella Artes um, Toro. Oh, so. I haven't, I haven't tried these two or this one, but I've had a New World and I mean, every single AJ Fernandez stick I've ever had has not disappointed me. So I'm looking forward to trying these out. All right, let's see this, throw some stuff down. Oh, I want to show you guys this one. So I picked this one up from my local B&M and I'm not sure if you can see because the uh, cellophane is kind of crinkly, but it's three like cigars wrapped into like one like DNA looking thing. And I believe they're called a the culebra, which means snake in Spanish. And I'm really excited to smoke these. I'm not exactly sure how to smoke these, but I got these at my local b and They were just like in their, um, in their, what's it called? Like the house brand humidor. So that's super cool. And I also got that along with one of these triple barber pole Candela Habano Maduro. Very, very exciting. Um, they did, the, the shop guy told me that this one is pretty young and it tasted almost like raw, he said. So to let it sit for a few months. So I will be doing a review on this one, but just in a few months because he said, let it sit for a while. All right. And then let's go over here to these. Um, so here is an Enclave by AJ Fernandez. Like I said, AJ Fernandez just makes fantastic cigars. So I'm looking forward to smoking that one. And then right here, I have some more Avos. These are the Fogata. I got three of these. I had four, I gave, or I think I had five. I don't remember how many I had, but I gave, I gave some of them away. Um, but I'm looking forward to trying these. Like I said, I haven't ever had Avo, but I hear a lot of good things about them. So I'm excited to try those out. And then blah, 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 right here. I believe I have another one of these over here too, yep. I have some Diesel Whiskey Rose, which I've had one of these and it was pretty good, but it was like my third cigar of the day. So I didn't um, get quite as much flavor as I maybe I would have wanted, but I'm definitely looking forward to smoking one of these on a fresh palate to see what I really get from it. And then let's do, uh, where's the other one right here? These. So these are some Grand Habanos. This is the 
three SLS, the Azteca Fuerte, and the Vintage 2002. So Grand Habano makes really good cigars. I've had a few of them, and they're all like very unique. And like, they have flavors that you don't really get from any other cigar. So I'm really excited to try these ones out. And then right here, so this is a brand you might not have heard of because I also have never heard of it, but they are called Vicarious. And I have these three, they came in a sampler. I don't know much about them. I don't know anything about them really, but I have them. So, I mean, I'll smoke them and I'll let you guys know what I think and some reviews or some, some sort. I'll, I'll have to do more research on these, but like I said, I have them. So, you know. All right, and then let's go. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm a mess right now. Hold on. So right here, this is a PDR Small Batch Reserve Maduro, I believe it's called. Yep. So PDR is one of those boutique lines. It's, they make some really good cigars, honestly. If you haven't tried them, you should check them out. But you can see how like dark this is. I'm looking really forward to trying this one. Right here is a CBD cigar. So you can see right there, it has a little weed plant, but it is a CBD collection. It's called the Tranquilo, which means calm in Spanish, I believe. Um, kind of a weird band, I will be honest, like the little eyes looking at you is pretty weird, but I picked it up because it is a CBD cigar and um, it's kind of like a, a unique thing. So I figured it'd be interesting to try out. Um, I, I heard a lot of mixed things about CBD cigars. So I'm excited to smoke this one and see, like form my own opinion on it, right? So be look, be on the lookout for a review on one of these, but I picked this up at my local shop yesterday, so. All right, and then right here, I have some Cohiba Nicaraguas, which I've never had Cohiba. Um, this, is, uh, this is not the Cuban one. The Cuban one is, from what I hear, very, very good. The Nicaraguan one, from what I hear, is maybe not as good as they should be but you can see on the tip right there it's almost has like an orange brown hue so these have been aged for a really nice long time and you can kind of see it down here as well but it these are pretty nice and aged so i'm looking forward to trying these out all right let's get all these flat heads and cao type of stuff over here so right here we have the cao zocalo which is a cao limited edition these were produced for Cinco de Mayo. This one is a Gordo, so it's a six by 60, but it's a really, really interesting cigar. And like I said, limited edition, I have one. So I'm looking forward to smoking this one. I just need to find a good time to do that. And right here we have the Flathead Steel Horse, which I have three Flatheads. Um, I haven't smoked this one, but I'm looking forward to it because the first Flathead I've had, which was this V660, is amazing. One of my favorite cigars. It is just a fantastic cigar. So I'm excited to try out the Steel Horse, and then I also have this Flathead 554. Same thing, I'm really excited, looking forward to smoking that. And then right here I have the CAO Consiglier, Consiglieri, whatever you want to call it. I've actually had this one in my humidor for a little while, um, but I've had one before and I remember it being good, but I don't quite remember those flavors. So I'll definitely be doing a review on that one. All right, and then right here we have a couple of other sticks I picked up yesterday as well. We have a Las Calaveras from Crown Heads. Really looking forward to trying that one out. We have this Arturo Fuentes Especiales. Sounds, it looked pretty good, sounded pretty good, so I picked it up. And then we have a Perdomo Habano Sun Grown, which I've had the Perdomo Champagne 10th anniversary, and that was a fantastic cigar. So I decided I'd pick up another Perdomo and see how I like it. All right, and then we have a bunch of tatuajes here that I don't know the name of, so that's why I saved them for last. But before that, we have, let's see, what is this? Four, five, wait, I'm not good at counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops. Seven of these Rocky Patel, AJ Fernandez partnerships. So these are a collaboration with Rocky Patel and AJ Fernandez, which AJ Fernandez, like I've said earlier, is one of my favorite brands. And I have smoked one of these and it definitely has that like AJ Fernandez like identity to it. Like you can taste the AJ Fernandez in it if that makes any sense. But I have never heard of these until I went to Fox and I saw these, Fox Cigar Bar. And I saw these and I picked them up and I, like, cause like I said, it, they were 
they were a really great price and they're AJ Fernandez and I decided I need to pick them up. And these also have a really nice like amber color on the cellophane. Like these are really, really nice and aged. Um, so these are really great. I will be doing a review on these when it's pretty soon. So look out for that. All right, and now for all the tatuajes, which I don't know the name of because they don't really have the names on them, but I'll try my best to let you guys know what each of them are. And you guys probably know more. If you like tatuaje, you probably know these a lot more than I do, but I got these in a sampler 10 pack from Custody along with the Cubans and the Ozas and all that, right? So again, huge shout out to him. Thank you for all these cigars. But uh, I've never had tatuaje, honestly, and I'm really, really looking forward to trying these out. So. These first three, this is a Tatuaje red label. It, it doesn't say, it says the Havana Six Nobles. So, can you see that? Havana Six Nobles. Then we have a tattoo by Tatuaje, which I have heard of, because this is like one of their most uh, well-known ones. Tattoo Adivino. Then right here we have this tattoo by, or Tatuaje 10 Miami. Um, that's all it really says on there. I'm not sure anything about this. It does have kind of a perfecto size because it's type. I just kind of tapered down right here. All right, and then let's grab a few of these. So there are. So this is actually an illusion. This is not a tatuaje. This is an illusion ultra. And then right here we have a tatuaje reserva broadleaf. And this is a pretty cool looking cigar. It does have that second band. And then right here, we have two Tatuajes Kojono 2012s, but they have a different, so this one's gold and this one's black, so I'm not exactly sure the difference. Um, I'd have to look it up and see, but these are some pretty long, like extra long Toro box press type of cigars. I'm looking forward to trying these out. And right here, we have a Tatuaje Tatuaje Black Corona Gorda, which doesn't make sense. It looks like a skinnier Robusto. Then we have a Tatuaje something. I don't know. I have no idea what this one is. doesn't have any labels or anything on it. But again, if you guys are Tatuaje lovers, then you probably know. And then right here, we have a Tatuaje Capa Especial. Um, really, really nice little second band right there. Very, very nice. It didn't come in a cellophane. Still looking forward to trying that out. And then right here... I believe this is the Skinny Monster, the Tatuaje Skinny Monster, and it actually says it right there, which I'm just not good at reading, Skinny Monsters. Um, I don't know much about these other than, I mean, I've I mean, I heard of them, right? Um, but I hear that these are pretty good. I, I know there's like different names for the sizes. There's like the Mummy and the Frankenstein or whatever, right? I have no idea what this one is. It didn't come in a cellophane, it doesn't have any labeling or anything. And then the final two, we have this Tatuaje, Tatuaje something and this Tatuaje Nuevitas Hibaro. I don't know. Like I said, I, have, I don't, I'm not a Tatuaje smoker. I've never had them. So I don't know any of these really. And I got them as a sampler pack. So I'd have to do a lot more research before I know what any of these are. But that is that. And then I have this big old squishy uh, Zykar 69% Boveda pack in here. Um, very standard. It's pretty big. This is a, where does it say the gram? The 60 gram. So I use one of these big, big guys and it keeps all of my cigars nice and humid, nice and uh, well kept. So that is my humidor. I mean, nothing too exciting besides, uh, I don't know, there's not, there's not really anything exciting. So that's that, I guess. So that was my humidor, nothing too exciting, but I do have a few little cool little things in there. Um, if you want me to review in particular any cigar that you saw in this video, please let me know because I mean, I have a lot of cigars, right? And I, I don't ever really have a plan for what cigars to review when I do my reviews. Um, I just kind of grab a stick and decide to review it, right? So if there's one stick in particular in here that you saw that you want me to review, please let me know down in the comments so I could get to it and, um, do a review on it right so that's pretty much it it was just uh like i said there's a few requests from people that wanted to see what my humidor looks like now so i decided i would do that so there it is i hope you guys are happy <laughs> no question today but like i said let me know what you guys want to see me review or if you want 
to see anything in particular, um, just let me know. So thank you guys for stopping by. Any comments, questions, or recommendations, make sure you leave those down below as well. And I will catch you guys in the next one.